celebration today. I've got some, well, it's meant to be champagne, but the only thing I could find was uh, sparkling Shiraz from 2012. <laughs> so if you want some sparkling Shiraz, this is my sort of make-believe, uh, well, my, the only thing I had. So uh, we're celebrating today. We're celebrating today. I've gone from being really cranky yesterday, if you didn't see that, just go back and watch yesterday's video, to being so, so, so super proud. My heart is full today, celebrating a whole bunch of people that have done something pretty incredible. And that's what I wanna share with you today. So celebration time, woohoo! So I'll get onto that in a moment. Now, Facebook, are you gonna let me see comments today? I am thinking not. Doesn't matter, I'm covered, I'm covered. I can't see comments today. What a shame, I got comments back for one day, Facebook, one day, bugger. All good, let me pull up and see who is here. Let me pick faces, who have we got? I can see Richard and Johanna in the corner there. I can see your faces. So give me some loves because that's the only thing I can tell who's on. Uh, because Facebook's playing games with me again today. Facebook only gave me back comments for one day. Facebook, Facebook. But I'm happy and I'm just so, so proud of so many people. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you the reason for that in a minute. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Heather. Hello, Vivi. We've got Andrew. Yeah, new hairdo. Do you like it? Do you like the colours? It actually doesn't sit on my head too well between my mop and then my captain's hat. Um, who else do we have here? We have Michael. Hello, Terry. We got Edith. Did I say Edith? No? Yes? No? If I did. Did you notice Edith? I haven't said Edith for ages. So I just said it again. Hello, Sean. Hello, Anna. They, they tease you. They do, Vivi. They gave it to me for one day and then took it back off. No, I don't have comments, Michael. Sorry, I'm on my phone. Hey, Sandrine, how are you? Hello, Judy and Bob. So, uh, yeah, just still communicate with me and I'll catch your comments later. It's a shame that I can't see. Um, oh, we've got some uh, more here. So, yeah, I'll see if I can keep that up there and watch that without making my phone uh, fall over. Hello, Sally, how are you? Hopefully that'll stay there. If the phone just falls over in a second, I'm trying to keep my comments there. Hello, Patricia. So if I'm looking down and looking up, that's the reason why I'm trying to keep um, on your comments. So I'll get on to why I'm so happy today. Um, but for those of you that have not seen, um, you know, we've not met before in a live, you're probably thinking, who is this weird woman? My name is Helen Martin and I am your online crew captain. We have the most awesome online crew community here of home-based business owners, entrepreneurs, network marketers, those in MLM, and we are here to learn how to leverage social media to build our business the modern way with modern online strategies because we don't want to chase anybody about our business. We don't want to convince anybody anybody to buy anything off us or join us in our business. We truly want to attract people to us online. So that is the job that we are doing here. And yesterday I was a little bit cranky for good reason, I think. You'll need to check out yesterday's video if you agree with me or not. But today we are celebrating, for one, the sun is shining in my part of the world and it's very, very cold and wintry where I am, so that's awesome. But today, for most people, some people finished yesterday, we have just completed. And I was only going to do this in the group. And I thought, you know what? These people deserve recognition because these people are awesome. And I just love reading all these people's comments that have accomplished something pretty cool. And that is, we have just completed a 14-day Facebook Live video challenge where people have actually been um, nervous, scared, sweating, didn't want to do it, uh, didn't feel like doing it, and they've just completed either yesterday or today, some might be straggling into tomorrow, they've done it. They've done it. And you would not believe some of the comments and the feedback that I've got from people from experiencing two weeks of doing live video. Two weeks of doing live video. I want to read you some of their comments because if there's someone out there listening to this video going, I can't do it. I have a message for you. 
Get out of your own way and get the job done. Because until you do it, you will never experience how powerful it is. So here's some of the, just some of them. That, and these are just snippets of paragraphs of information. So Lee said, this is one of the best learning experiences of my life. I've developed so many skills. Edith said, I'm no longer afraid of the camera. I'm a more confident person because of this experience. Karen said, this challenge has changed me forever. There's no looking back now. She's got confidence that she didn't have before. She's moving forward now. Julie, I've learned so much. I just can't put it into words. Megan, blown away at the growth, growth I have seen in myself. Mel, one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Like two weeks of doing videos and look at what these people are experiencing. So a couple of messages for the broader the community that didn't take part in this. How serious are you about your business? If you're serious about your business and you're already doing live video, awesome. That's exactly where you need to be. If you are serious about your business and you're not doing live video, then you're not really that serious about your business. <laughs> live video is a massive part of the equation on social media um, to let people get to know you, know, like, and trust you. Because when people know, like, and trust you, that's when they will buy from you. That's the, when they'll ask you about your products, your services, or your business opportunity. Until you get that, until you experience that in social media, you're going to be left behind a little bit. So we do need to put ourselves out there. And I am so, the, the one thing I, I just really don't like about a 14 day Facebook live video challenge is it's almost over before it starts. So uh, we're at the end of it and I'm like, no, no, let's keep going. This is so much fun. And just seeing everyone's videos and the growth that they've had in such a short amount of time is just incredible. So for those of you that may have been a part of that or you haven't ventured there yet, you might want to ask yourself the reason that you started but didn't finish or that you're just not going there yet? What are the fears that you've got caught up around in you that's stopping you? Even those of you that have done it before, but you're not regular, you're not doing it anymore, or you were consistent and you're not now, what's stopping you from you know, keeping that consistency? If you really wanna make a presence on social media, you've got to do it consistently. So even those guys of you that have done it before, but you're not doing it consistently now, you're letting yourself down and your business. So get back on the wagon and just do it. Now, for those of you that start things and don't finish them, like something like a little 14 day Facebook Live video challenge, I would ask you to reflect on that. What's the reason that you started but you didn't finish and where else does that show up in your life? So if you didn't finish a little 14 day Facebook Live video challenge, maybe that shows up in other areas of your life where you start things and you just don't finish them. There might be something broader that you need to look at regarding your commitment to certain things or your focus. So if you really want a successful business on social media, we need to be committed. We need to do things we don't want to do. We need to show up when we don't feel like it. We need to overcome our fears. We need to get through technical challenges that for some people, it will stop them in their tracks. So some people will look at the technology side of things and go, it doesn't work, I'm going to stop. We can't have that kind of attitude if we want to be an entrepreneur and build a successful business online. You just got to work it out, guys. There are people that have had huge challenges just in this 14 day video challenge, whether that's dual lives or lives in general or turning up sideways or sound or whatever it is, but giving up is not an option. Giving up is not an option. Whatever it is, you just have to work it out. You have to ask for help. You go and research answers. You do what you need to do to get the job done. So if you started and didn't finish or you weren't part of the challenge, but just in life, you start things, but you don't follow them through. What's the reason for that? Are you a stop start person that can't get to the end of what it is you want to do? So those in the 14 day Facebook live video challenge that finished yesterday, today, or you know, tomorrow, maybe I massively uh, celebrating you guys because I know what it takes and I know there's a lot of you that had challenges and I know there's a lot of you that didn't feel like doing it, 
but you got the job done and did it anyway. So massive pat on the back. And anybody else that's listening live or watching the replay, I hope you're patting everyone else on the back that completed it because they deserve it. And for those of you that are sitting there that haven't done something like a video challenge and put yourself out there if it's something you're scared of doing, you are missing out on an amazing, uh, potentially life-changing um, experience. It, it, you know, and I, I really can't underestimate that when I read the comments of how this has impacted people's lives, the interaction that they're getting from people, the confidence that grows. Because when your confidence grows, Honestly, it filters through all areas of your life. So some of you might think, oh, this is not worth listening to. I didn't participate in this challenge and I don't really care. But when you build your confidence in one area of your life, honestly, it filters through all other areas of your life. So accomplishing something like these guys have in this video challenge will flow through to other areas of their life. And when I do these challenges and I say, this is so much more than a video challenge, but you're not gonna appreciate that until you get to the end. I hope you guys that participated know exactly what I mean by that statement, because I'm sure you've experienced so much more for your personality, your confidence, your life, um, than just doing a video challenge. Um, so, you know, share your thoughts with me around that, guys, um, you know, if you agree or not. So I've still got comments here, so I'm going to go through some of them. Love the colourful hair. Thank you, Richard and Johanna. It's, uh, it's different. Uh, celebration time, though. It's a glorious day in Adelaide today. Wishing everyone a beautiful day. What a lovely comment. Thank you, Judy and Bob. Hello, Mary. Hello, Andrew. Uh, congratulations to everyone, Edith, saying... Love your crankiness. It's all for love and good reason. Absolutely. Uh, Crystal, you know me well. Uh, she's saying congratulations to all the challenges. Or whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Couldn't have said it better myself, Sean. It's all to do with, you know, um, your mindset, what, what you're thinking, um, what you believe in. And even if you don't believe it, you've got to put yourself in the position and just do it anyway to, to, to come out the other side. Uh, Michael, you can get anything you want in life if you help other enough people get what they want in life. So true. We're not in the live challenge, but Helen has us going live five days a week. It was hard at first, but now we're getting into our groove and we love being on camera. Just do it. Absolutely. Well said. I only miss one. Is Crystal saying I only miss one day of going live five days a week since our 30 day challenge. Wow. That's impressive. Crystal. Good for you. Sean, it's the way forward in life, doing things that make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, when we get comfortable, we're not growing. So if you're really comfortable with something, you're not pushing yourself hard enough. We've actually got to get uncomfortable all the time to keep growing. So if you're really, really comfortable in what you're doing, you're probably not pushing your boundaries to do better in your life and to achieve greater things in your life if you're really, really comfortable. Um, yes, just work it out and show up. That's right, Edith. Michael, the competition kept me going. It was like running a marathon. It may take longer or be harder, but I got it done. And that's what it's all about. How are you going, Rob? Good to see you jump on. Definitely life-changing. Uh, just looked a list at all the lives I've done since March. I usually go live five to six times a week. It feels good and the results are exciting. It's amazing, Patricia. Rob's saying it's life-changing. Crystal, the video challenge has definitely changed my life. Um, Judy and Bob, we did learn how to be more patient. The online world is always going to test you. Um, you know, technology, whenever we... Um, oh, nice comment, Andrew. Andrew thinks Henry needs a new hairdo, so I've left him out. So that's Henry over there, if you're not aware. Maybe I need to put this on Henry. <laughs> it might drown him, though. <laughs> he might drown in the in the hair. Um, yeah, you definitely learn to have to be more patient. And, you know, there were a lot of people that experienced a lot of technolo technology issues. And some people, it will get the better of them. And they'll put their hands up in the air and say, well, I tried, it didn't work out. And if that's the way that you look at it, and you, you, it's so easy for you to put your hands up in the air like that, then how are you ever going to be successful as an entrepreneur? Learning to become an entrepreneur and having your own business and building it on social media and building your brand and all those other things, it's tough. And you've got to have a certain strength of character to just work stuff out when it's not going your way. 
and not put your hands up in the air and go, oh, well, that was too hard. You've just really got to have a strong sense of character to get through that. And that will make or break those that will make it and those that won't. Hey, Sal, how are you going? Hey, Suzanne, how are you? Good to see you on. So my hats are off to those people and I'm celebrating with you for those that got the job done when they didn't feel like it, didn't want to do it, were really, really nervous and they've come out the other side. You guys need to be publicly acknowledged. As I said, I was only going to do this in the, in the actual group of the challenge, but seriously, anybody that puts themselves out there like that, you need to pat yourself on the back for getting the job done. And for those of you that didn't get the job done, please reflect, I'm not saying it's bad, and there are some people that had serious life issues that got in the way. But if, if you're somebody who starts something but just didn't finish it and that's a pattern for you, maybe have a little bit of a think about that in your commitment to your business or your commitment to yourself or your commitment to, you know, how important really is your business to you? If you can't finish a 14 day Facebook live video challenge, and I don't want to make that right, rank, right, wrong, good, bad. If somebody did a live that had never done a live before, in my books, they've won. If somebody did five days out of the 14 days, they've won. Like they still did some. But if you didn't finish it, just reflect on that. What was the reason that you didn't finish? What is stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve? And where else in your life is that showing up? So it's just using it as an opportunity to reflect. And we often have moments in our life where we need to sit back and go, I didn't get there or I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve and what's the reason for that? And really truly evaluate that. Not emotional, not that you're a bad person, not that you know it's not emotional, it's like, okay, what worked and what didn't work? What didn't work is I, I didn't show up enough. I let life get in the way because I didn't feel like it. If we go through life not feeling like it, we're never gonna be successful as entrepreneurs. So it's just an opportunity to reflect on, for those of you that started but didn't finish, what was the reason behind that? And you don't, yeah, as I said, don't make that good, bad or ugly, just use it as a reflection on, you know, maybe I could improve on that. Maybe I could commit more. Maybe I could be more dedicated to what it is that I actually wanna achieve. Okay, do you guys get that? That's, you know, coming from a place of just, that's what makes us grow as individuals is, you know, looking at the things that we haven't achieved and seeing it for what it really is. It's like, man, I didn't finish that challenge and I often don't, I don't often, often finish lots of things. So, you know, it might be something that shows up in your life and we can use that as an opportunity to reflect, okay? Final thought from Judy and Bob. We are sending huge congratulations to everyone who finished this challenge. You are all heroes in our eyes. Oh, and a comment from Crystal there, evaluation is important. Evaluation is everything. If you take anything from this video, it's uh, whether you participated in the video challenge or not, evaluation is everything. So what worked, what didn't work, what can I do differently next time? You constantly should be saying that to yourself in all areas of your life. Business, health, relationship, finances, what's working, what's not working, what can I do differently to get better results? And take the emotion out of it, because when we're emotional, we don't make very good decisions. When we're emotional, we hang on to crap for a lot longer than we should do because our feelings are hurt, or we've, we've taken something completely out of proportion about what somebody does think about us or doesn't think about us or said and we've interpreted it the wrong way. We need to evaluate things for what they are and not get stuck in emotion, okay? So it makes us a better person. Okay, so cheers guys, so proud, sad it's over. I will go and communicate with those of you in the video challenge in a moment over in that group and acknowledge you, um, you know, as a group. But it needs to be publicly acknowledged, the people that achieve things that is hard, difficult, pushes through fear, do things that you don't want to do, but you actually get to the end of it and go, I did it. So for those of you that got through the 14 days, you did it. You should be proud and I am very proud of you. So congratulations. I will be doing more challenges for those of you that are asking. Um, probably August would be the next one. I'll give you plenty of notice for anybody that's interested in participating in this experience. 
because the group themselves, um, it's pretty cool to watch the relationships that, um, you know, because you're all like-minded people achieving the same thing. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, thank you for joining me today. Those of you that are alive or watching the replay, I'm going to jump into the video challenge group in about 10 minutes time. So if there are any of you that can join me over there that were involved, uh, please do that. I'll see you over there shortly. For the rest of you, I'll catch you same time, same place tomorrow. Bye guys.